wow, my last video did so well. Thank you, everyone that watched it. Like, how do I go about my next video? How can, like, something compete to it? I'll do it. I want to start off this fascinating video by saying thank you all for watching my previous video about a fairy smacking a alleged Yahtzee, covering my bases there, thank you Odin. I will say, I don't condone violence and it sucks that it happened like that, but my god was it hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching it. I haven't had a video blow up like that in years. So to all the new people here, hello, my name is Blazy Fox. I also have my buddy character Sass, which was in the video because, well, I needed some sassiness for that one. But this one today is nothing but comedy, so that's why Blazy is here today. Please do like this video and comment your thoughts down below, it really helps me out. So, alright, let's get into this article by the Daily Mail. Uh, so the Daily Mail is very... Uh, how do I put it? Like if a dinosaur took a massive dump and a human came by, grabbed some paper and jumped right into the dump and smeared it all over the page and boom, ta-da, an article. That said, whenever I hear the Daily Mail, what I can think about is the YouTubers Wally and Luxaria. It wasn't my fault the Daily Mail no. made me just possessed yeah, with the Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Because I've got a degree. Yeah. I read the Daily oh. Mail! Love them. So yeah, it ain't good in other words. And so this title is articled Bizarre Moment Man is Attacked by a Furry. In capital letters to make sure you know it was a furry who did it. After he's caught filming a fetish group. Oh. So if you haven't guessed, this is about the incident, and not once in this article, not once, do they say that the person that was attacked is a well-known, alleged, Yahtzee. And so is his partner, of which they refer to as a wolf. Even though they have wings, they're clearly a dragon of some sort. So you can already tell the intelligence of the person who wrote this article. As it states, a fight broke out at a furries meetup where a man was caught filming members of a group. Already, this is not true. This is the very basic understanding of what happened in the video because he is holding his phone, so he must have been simply recording them, right? Wong. Two people in black wolf costumes, again, not both of them, got into an altercation at Huntington Beach on Saturday after a man who was recording them refused to leave, with some commenters suggesting that he is a scorned ex-lover of one of the participants. Where? 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 Where are people saying that? That is not what I've heard at all. I have not seen anyone say this ever. God, my hair is a mess right now. Like, maybe he is? Like, maybe he is? I don't know. But his partner is also there, which they don't mention that he's his partner. So I highly doubt this is part of the reason why that happened, and I highly doubt that they even know why it happened, and so they just threw that in. I bet they threw that in, just randomly. Like, they heard about there's a boyfriend, and so I just think it might have been him. That's, that's what I bet. It appeared to start after a man was filming a group and had his phone in the face of one member who warned him to leave. That's how it appeared, but that's not what happened in the slightest. Do your research before writing an article about something, man. The man in the furry costume then struck him in the head with a megaphone before he was tackled to a ground by another person. A second furry jumped in to help his friend, his roommate, if you will. Yeah, basically this whole article is just nonsense and the rest of it is mostly made up of screenshots and photos and the video itself, all used without permission, of course. And yeah, again, they, they call him his friend. They don't call him the boyfriend. Uh, so they don't even know the basic information. I also love them mentioning the dude on the ground screaming, Oh my god, this is what furries do to you. Without them going into like how much he was crying like a little wimp, mind you. And clearly faking his cries and suddenly stop when he was not feeling. Because no, that would put him in a confusing light. Like when he needs to be the good guy. He's the victim in all of this. That guy's the victim. Ah. <laughs> But yes, as you can see from this screenshot, I hope this is all working out as planned. This side has all the stuff, me over here, I hope this is working out. But yes, as you can see from this screenshot, a lot of this article is just explaining what happened in the video, and including things like what they're wearing to pad out the article and make sure it hits the word limit to keep his boss happy. 
It does continue to say, It is not clear how the argument started, but I have been claims online about infighting within the furry community. The man recording is said to have been banned from the event, but showed up anyway, and was asked to leave by a staff member before the situation escalated. So they at least wrote that down, and that is correct. But why he was banned is never mentioned, who he is is never mentioned, who the dragon that got cuffed up is is never mentioned. So there's so much of it left out. Daily Mail has contacted the Huntington Beach Police Department for comment. No you haven't. No you didn't. You, you did not. Don't lie to me. You did not. You barely did your research on this, so why would you spend extra time contacting the police instead of finding out from the group that were actually there? Why not contact the furry group within that area to try and figure out what happened? It's because you don't care. You just want to paint furries in a bad light. Even though the person that was attacked is a furry. And then of course, whenever there's an article about furries, they need to explain who furries are, which is... Fine, but it happens in like every article and it's fine, but they always have to do it in their own way. Furries are people who dress up as animals and identify as the chosen animal, often as a sexual fetish. There it is, there it is. Often, huh? Again, clearly did do your research. I would actually say we dress up as characters that look like animals. That would kind of be a better way to kind of put it to me. Also, if it's a sexual fetish, how come this article isn't about furries having sex on a public beach? Huh, it's almost like it's not a fetish. It's just weird, but I'm one of those weirdos. <laughs> it is one of the fastest growing fandoms in this world, with an estimated 2.5 million adherents worldwide. Ad ad adherents? Ad adherents? Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but like, wow, someone went the dictionary. Good job, big boy. Maybe I should have been sass today. I'm starting to think I should have been sass. Each animal represents a different personality. Fox furries are sly and mischief. Dogs are fun types. And cats are for people who want to be seen as aloof. And once again, this isn't true. Yes, we see foxes as sly and mischief. But we don't see fox furries as such. We might joke about it to, to ourselves as such. But dogs are fun types? What does that even mean? Are you talking about pups? Those kind of fun types? A cat being aloof? What? What What are you on about? This is probably the weirdest way any of these articles has tried explaining what a furry is. I kind of want to know what they think about bunnies now. Because bunnies have a reputation of being just, you know... Yeah, hopping like a bunny, you know, that whole thing. So I wonder if they're just like, yeah, the bunnies are the horny ones or something. Like, very curious. Very just weirded out by all this. But yeah, this is a pretty bad article. It is a Daily Mail, so what did I expect? <laughs> Maybe not something this bad. And of course, the comments. The comments are, are something else. Every one of those fairies voted for Trump. Guaranteed. No. Just... No. Just the artsy ones. Who are not welcomed here. So yeah, this was a hilarious read. But journalists. You know, be journalists. Go do research before you make a bullcrap article that harms a community. So yeah, don't worry, I, I ain't gonna keep winding this train, winding this bandwagon or whatnot. I just wanted to put this out because I kind of messed up my usual schedule as I posted the last video earlier than usual. So I will be going back to my regular schedule with usual reviews and such coming up. I just wanted to kind of fix the timeline of my uh, of how I do my videos, which which uh, every uh, Friday morning or Thursday night for Americans is when I upload videos at 9.30 Adelaide time, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Though if other furry things come up, I will try my best to talk about them kind of sporadically and all that. I, I, I just hope you enjoyed it. Pl Thank you everyone who did watch my previous video and is uh, did subscribe and all that. Hello new people. Please do continue watching me. Please, 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 please continue to support me. I am I am going to do my best. I'm absolutely going to do my best. Please do like my videos. Please do comment on them. Support my, support my videos. Support my channel. Thank you all so much. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. So please do give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because I love you if you do. Hit that bell icon and this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright guys, bye for now. Eh -eh.